Hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from dansfish.com. We're going to do a vlog today. It's Saturday, it's a packing day, there's a lot going on, so we'll take you around and show you what's happening. Um, it's fairly early in the morning. I'm, uh, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> the nice thing about working for yourself like this is you can start your day in your PJs. So what I've done so far today is I've gone around and I've fed all the fish that are not going to be shipped out. Uh, the order cutoff is Friday at midnight. I've gone over the orders, figured out what I need to ship. Everything else has got a meal. Um, I have refreshed some um, fruit fly cultures. Started new cultures, I should say, not refreshed. These ones, I almost let them go too long. They were getting, they were getting really old. Um, so, yeah, usually I'm pretty good about it, but I'm in the, I'm in the middle of of raising money to do an expansion on my business, and that is just, it's taking a lot of time and energy. So. <laughs> I've been, for about a week now, I've been like, man, I need to refresh those fruit fly cultures. Finally got to it. So um, what I'm doing now is I'm figuring out my packing list. So I don't know if this will show very well, but uh, before I go up and take a shower and kind of really get ready for the day, um, I've got all my orders here. So, so these are all the, hang on, let me. There we go. These are all the orders um, for, I can't really show you. I can show you the back of them. For the uh, week, this is everything that's going out Monday. <coughs> so what I'm doing here, this is probably gonna show horribly on camera, but um, is this is, I'm creating a packing list and I'm just gonna start that. So I'll go over all those order forms and I'll put the uh, species, how many unsexed, how many male, how many female, then I'll total the number of fish, then I'll total the number of bags and bag sizes for each species. And that's how I keep track of how many bags I need of each size, how many fish of each species I need to pack, um, who, who kind of ordered what, so I can just keep track of everything. One day I'm going to get an automatic inventory system where I don't uh, have to manually enter spreadsheets and and all of that. But at this size, this makes sense. But one day, hope to not have to do that. One day, I hope that the orders come and labels are automatically kind of generated from for the bags and um, and there's an automatic list generated of how many of which species of which sex and all that. But for now, that's what's going on. So I'm going to get to that. And then I'm gonna shower and get ready for the day and start uh, start getting the fish. All right, so the packing list is done. I have uh, gone around and seen if there's any sick or dead fish. Everyone looks good, there was nothing to pull. So now I can go take a shower and start my day. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, that's better. I feel like a new man. So now, I'm gonna start getting the bags all ready for the fish, but before I do that, Shadow has to leave the fish room. I like the cats, I like having them down here, but there's two things. The first one is sometimes they'll decide to pee down here and then it stinks for a week, so that's no good. But the main thing is, when I have bags of fish all around that are open, I can't have a cat in the fish room. That would be a disaster. So, come on. So we're gonna get the cat out. All right, then we'll start. All right, we're getting closer. All the bags, all the bags have water in them. Next step, let's go catch some fish. All right, well, it's a little after 7 p.m., which makes this a 12-hour packing day so far. Good news is we've caught all the fish and they're all in the bags. Check them out. So, got all these. And we have more over here and there's more on the other table over there. Um, and then I've got the water for tomorrow going. What I do is I, I put water in these buckets. 
I put in just under a quarter cup of uh, salt. Now, the amount of salt you might use if you do this could be different. It's it's grams per liter. It's not you have to kind of measure it out. For me, it's about with the salt I use, which is this stuff. It's a uh, about a quarter cup per five gallons. Then I aerate that overnight, so any uh, dissolved gases gas off, so the salt gets all dissolved. In the morning, um, when I go to change the water on the fish in the bags, then I, I put in a little bit of Seachem Safe and let that dissolve before I use that water to do the water change. So, well that's been my day. Um, <laughs> I'm going to feed the fish now because now all the fish that are traveling have been caught so I can feed the rest of the fish room. I couldn't feed them uh, before I caught them because I'm trying not to, you know, get poop in the bags and all that. But I'm going to go feed some fish now. Alright. And here's my reward at the end of a long day. I got to sit back, relax, and watch some fish eat, which is always fun. Uh, these are the red-eyed red high fin swordtails that I'm breeding and raising out. At least some of them have high fins, some of them don't, as happens when you breed that strain. They're starting to look really good. There's some males, obvious males coming out. They're, I'm really pleased with them. Looks like a nice batch. Uh, they haven't developed enough that I can kind of cull out my, or select out, I guess I should say, my brood stock for the next generation, but I'm pleased with what I see. There are a few in there that look like like balloon. <laughs> they have some balloon genetics, and I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I'm not uh, not sure if I really like them or not, but I haven't seen them growing out either. Uh, generally, I'm not a big balloon fish guy, but but anyway, I really like sitting down, dropping some food in the tank, and just watching these guys grow. It's great fun. And they really are spectacularly pretty. There's, <laughs> they're worth the work, I think. But we'll see. They're difficult. Let's, uh, I'll see if I can get another generation out of them or not. I know a lot of people have a really hard time with this strain. And I don't know if it's because it's just difficult in general, genetics-wise, or if uh, it's due to some other issue. I do know that they can come in with uh, disease when they're imported, some of them. And so I don't know if, if that's the issue. Hopefully by raising a captive generation like this, by breeding a, a generation here in captivity like this, um, we can dispense with having to import and, and possibly having like viruses and things come in with the strain. but. I don't know. That remains to be seen. But this is the part where it's fun for me. There's all the uh, hard work and then every now and then I get to just sit down and enjoy the fish, which is why I got into this in the first place. And the last thing to do today is this. I'm draining some quarantine tanks here. I've got this one drained and this one drained. I've got to drain the rest of them and refill them so I can be prepped for a new shipment of fish. So I'm going to go over and get to that. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, folks. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.